Hey, welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I review fountain pens and other stuff uh, similar and related. And today I've got a Parker Jotter fountain pen that I want to share with you. You might be familiar with the Parker Jotter. There are millions upon millions upon millions of them floating around offices all over the world. And most of them are ballpoint pens. And if they're not ballpoint, they might be a rollerball gel pen. But they also make a fountain pen. You might not have known that. I didn't know that for a long time. And they've recently uh, refreshed this pen a little bit and uh, updated some of its its uh, parts and design. And so I want to share that with you. It's actually a really good pen. I got mine during the uh, Christmas holidays for a great deal. But the Parker Jotter is anyway kind of at the budget end of Parker's fountain pens. So it's it's quite an affordable pen, uh, approachable for most people. And I want to share with you today what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Uh, there's not very much of that. And uh, whether or not I would recommend the pen. So let's uh, flip the camera and take a closer look. Okay, so here is the Parker Jotter up close and personal. You can tell this pen was designed about 60 or so years ago because it has that classic look. And I, I like it. I like the, a lot of the pens from that era to me are just timeless and uh, it's, it's a time period that furniture and everything else people are, are imitating today but this pen is not an imitation, this is the real thing. And it has been updated, you'll notice that the clip, while it has a classic Parker arrow, it's a little bit different design, that's kind of their, their modern take, I think they did that in 2019. It has the, the Parker name. In, in logo engraved on the cap and then on the back where it's made and unfortunately it's not made in the USA unfortunately for those of us in the USA it is made in France now so they've had factories in the US obviously and since they were started here they also had factories in England that were making pens up until just recently but that one just closed and now production is moved to France. Other updates that they have done. Well, actually, before I do that, let me say, this blue, they have also red, they have silver, uh, black, and, and maybe there are more. Those are the ones that I always see. You'll notice, kind of funny, since it's a now a British-American or American British, I don't know the, the ratio, uh, pen company, they're really playing up the British side of those, uh, of that part of their history. And so when you get this, it'll come in a package, and I already got rid of the box because I've had this for a while. You'll get a box with the, the British flag on it, and uh, then you still turn it around, and it's made in France founded in the USA. That's kind of the American way these days, isn't it? That's just the way it is. Uh, if you open up the pen, the cap will actually uh, uh, post securely. Uh, I don't know what effect long-term that might have on that finish, so you know you might be careful there. You'll notice that they've also redesigned the nib, if you're familiar with it. And so it's a simple, clean design with Chevron there and Parker uh, stamped into a steel nib. This one's a medium. Uh, just a very, and it tells you that it's a medium here on the back side. Very simple design and nice and clean. The grip is a little bit, this is not a, a thick pen, and so it's a little bit of a, a thin grip. Some of you like thin, some like uh, a larger diameter, uh, but I find it a comfortable pen to write with. I just hold it higher up where it's not quite as thin. Uh, little metal ring there as you go from the plastic uh, grip section to the metal barrel. Let's go ahead and take this off. It does not come with a converter. I'm not going to do my spiel on that. I will spare you. Instead, it comes with a cartridge, and I'm still, I can't believe, maybe I've, I don't think I've refilled this, uh, but I haven't used as much as I would have thought because I've written with this pen a lot. But uh, pretty large cartridge, actually. It's a proprietary cartridge. It's longer than an international uh, cartridge, and that may be why I still have more ink uh, than I would have expected. So good capacity on the cartridge, and I do like uh, Parker's blue ink. So uh, there is that. You can get, of course, a cartridge. Metal barrel, plastic grip section, and a steel nib. So that's the very simple design of the Parker Jotter. And I say simple, uh, but it's nice and clean and classic and I think a handsome pen. So that's enough about how it looks and where it came from. How about we see how the Parker Jotter writes? All right, so this is a Parker Jotter. It 
as I mentioned earlier, this is the uh, at the budget end of Parker's pens. Still a very good looking, well made, well balanced pen. It's not heavy at all. It's fairly light, really. Um, you know, if you compare this to say a Pilot Metropolitan, uh, it's going to be not as big around. It's going to be. It doesn't have as much heft. I think it's made every bit as well as the Pilot Metropolitan, which gets a lot of praise and is considered one of the best starter fountain pens. This pen, uh, depending on what kind of a, a sale you find it on, is generally going to be about the same price, or I got mine even less. I actually paid only uh, $10 or a little under for this particular one. So you can find some really good deals, and it is an excellent pen at that price. This is a medium nib, as I mentioned, and that's exactly the way that it writes. And it is really smooth. And so this is a, a Parker Blue uh, Quink cartridge. And that's a proprietary cartridge. You can buy it as, as bottled ink as well. It's a really a, it's a nice looking blue, so you know not a bad thing to have. Right now I've got, uh, in most of my pens, a Pelican Royal Blue that, that compares closely in color, and I like that as well, but this, this Parker ink is quite good. I'm going to be quiet and see if you can hear this pen writing as I do. Very quiet, very smooth, uh, no drag, no skipping. Uh, I have a very consistent line in all my use of this pen. Uh, I just, I have had zero problems with it. It just writes very well, keeps up really well. Uh, it is a typical steel nib, so not really much in the way of line variation. You're not going to see a lot of, of that, but it does, it writes well. You can see it, it just keeps up. Uh, the things that I like about it, what do I like? It is a very smooth writing pen. Uh, it writes, I think, uh, a fairly, just just about right kind of a wetness. So it's a it's a wet line without being too wet at all. And, and uh, just balanced, I would say it's balanced uh, between wetness and dryness quite well. And of course that also varies with the ink that you're using. So another ink might write a bit wetter or drier, uh, but you can see there how this one fares. Uh, great pen. I would I recommend it? Yes. And uh, I think it's, it's a good pen for uh, somebody who uses a fountain pen, period. You know, new, old, doesn't matter. Just a really good pen. And I think the, the price, um, at full price, I think it's not a bad deal at all. Uh, if you, you know, most of the time you don't pay full retail online anyway, you're going to find a good deal. You find it at $15, $16. Uh, and I think it's a good pen at that price. There's a lot of competition there. And that would be like the Pilot Metropolitan, which is an excellent deal at that price. But so is this. So, you know, pick the one that you think is the style that you like. If you get a chance to to go to a store where you can actually get your eyes on it instead of online uh, then that's that's even better for making a decision but just a simply designed classically designed pen from a company with a great history who knows what they're doing and makes an excellent product and a company frankly I'd like to see around for another hundred and something years so uh, if that's something that you're interested in I highly recommend the Parker Jotter. And I, I gotta say, really like it. in this blue, the best. All right, God bless you, and I'll see you in the next review.